this is Matza. Welcome back to our channel. Hello. What's today's topic? So, since in the past two months we have been traveling a lot to attend weddings, as we mentioned before, and then we realized that we never really speak about how Polish wedding looks like, like very traditional Polish wedding. So we figured that um, since it's pretty much the time that Poland is finishing the wedding season. Everybody's doing it in the <laughs> spring and summer. Colder, yeah. yeah, so we figured that it might be fun to, to conclude how Polish mm -hmm. weddings are like and what are the traditions, mm -hmm. what you might experience and so on. Of course, it's not gonna be like uh, everything that we know because we only attend like maybe five of them in total yeah. in our whole life, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's say. Mm -hmm. So, um, from the beginning, um, Clubs. Clubs, yeah. So <laughs> obviously for guys it's easy, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, if it's about, let's say it like uh, for my own, my own, our wedding. Mm -hmm. For our wedding, uh, I actually dressed up with a standard suit. Yeah. You can, of course, choose different colors of suit and so on. I chose something which is more like a uh, gray, uh, dark blue. blue, darker blue, sort of, yeah. Well, with, of course, I had like those little, um, how to call it, like little material here with some kind of like flowers, mm -hmm. yeah, just to make me more shiny there, not more, like more alive, not looking like any other guests, <laughs> guests there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, plus, instead of a tie, I think I rather see that people like to have a bow tie. Bow tie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I also had it. Uh, of course, I think you can you can choose something even more larger, like tuxedo or something like that, yeah, for a wedding. <laughs> However, I just choose the, a suit, yeah, and I think that was enough. Mm -hmm. For guys, it's pretty simple, rather. Mm -hmm. uh, for girls, it's way more complicated. Yes. Tell, so, tell us your experience, maybe. So, first of all, if you're from Taiwan, this might be a big surprise for you because in Taiwan, uh, we rent. You usually go to those mm. wedding dress place, they measure your body, your size, and then you rent around, I would say, at least three dresses for the wedding day. Yeah, so. One thing about this renting, because, yeah. you know, I when we were preparing our wedding, I also thought maybe we can rent it, yeah? <laughs> And we went to some kind of exhibition of those uh, wedding, wedding clothes uh, wedding stores exposition. and exposition. Yeah. And we kept on asking people like, uh, do, you, do you rent, do you rent? And they are all so surprised. Like, what, what are you talking about? We yeah. make them and you buy, buy them. It. Yeah. So I was like, no, okay, okay, so maybe, maybe <laughs> it works like that, yeah, so. Yeah, so here girls usually buy it. Buy, yeah, yeah um, buy also hmm, usually you buy one, like just one. You wearing from the beginning to the end, and you wearing for additional photo shoots. You just wear this one and only. Mm -hmm. Maximum from our friend, it's like two, but just maximum two. One for the main venue, and the second one is like shorter, so one, it's two. good for the dance time for example but usually just one so to walk more comfortable yeah 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 so you spend all your budget on this main dress um of course traditionally girls would choose this you know very princessy like those very big one but then for example in our wedding and um, the recent wedding of our friend we choose kind of like a little little dress yeah so it's kind of like it's fitting the body it's not showing, that exposing yeah uh, not exposing i mean exposing actually exposing body more than Exposing. The suit itself. Yeah? yeah, it doesn't look so boom, yeah, like like mm. you're the queen, yeah. But it depends, yeah. So I'm saying that here, I would say it has bigger space for girls to choose the style that you like. In my opinion, it's pretty chill. Of course, I don't know. Maybe there are some very conservative families that they you know the girl goes with their parents or their mom, yeah, or, or, or of, of hers mom, and and choose it, and it has to be like you know. Mom also have something to say. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Sanson actually chose everything by herself. Yeah. Uh, you actually went to some cool place. Uh, yeah, it was really cool because, <coughs> as we mentioned, that we went to this expo, yeah, and we found one designer. Yeah. So she basically, you go to her studio, she measured you as everybody else, and then it took her one working day. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I did, I just sit like in, a session, yeah. Yeah, you sit in the studio. It was really fun because it's kind of like you participate, you witness your own dress being yeah, created. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, you choose the texture as well, and you, of course, you show her some sample um, like I told her I want to show this part
part, this part, style like deep V, and I want this kind of look, and then she created it, and it was perfect in my mm -hmm. opinion. And something what I know from some more conservative families, or maybe like from some more traditional, it's better to say families, uh, because actually Sansan was making even pictures of her dress, or because I was at work, uh, yeah, yeah, to show me, yeah. And then I went to that place to actually see the result. But I know some families, they say like, no, the men shouldn't really see it. Like it has to be the first time that I see you, it has to be at the wedding, yeah? Mm. Or, I mean, I'm not saying wedding, I'm saying actually at the, in the, either church or this. Like on the wedding day. Place, uh, on the wedding day, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so then the man can be like, oh wow, it's so awesome. Yeah, like she looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. However, we already saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> she chose suit with me. I I was like uh, also looking like uh, I actually I didn't even comment anything. For me, it was like very beautiful, and that's it because it's all up to her. Mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. style about this. Yeah. So, so that is about the clothes, clothes, and then about the decoration at the venue. Mm -hmm. Well, all in all, I think it also depends on the couple. Some of them they hire somebody, but I do see at least for the weddings that we attend, the newlyweds they tend to prepare everything by themselves, meaning mm -hmm. that you choose your own florist and you choose your own style, what kind of, um, for example, what kind of, you need to have like a table card, yeah? You put the table number, so mm -hmm. what kind of design and also so about... So it's like a theme, rather, yeah. that you have to choose. Like, yeah. uh, for example, one of uh, our friends had a wedding recently and uh, they made something very s special. They had like a... Kind of like a wood. They uh, they took some wood from forest. They cut it in pieces. Every wood had like a number of table mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Plus they took those um, shishka. They took them from the forest in total like a hundred of them or something. And each of them had a number like had the name of person. Yeah. They yeah. put some uh, guest paper name. material there with a written guest name on it. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And like our wedding, basically we choose uh, the card style, the invitation card. We just go online with some wedding website yeah, and there are like the... super many different kind of stuff yeah. you can choose from and you just put uh, your name like everything is set there like uh -huh. preset there for you and we just order like oh, we, we need so many like i don't know for example we need 50 guests so we just order 50 of them mm -hmm. everything is just like diy you don't need to spend any additional money to hire somebody to well, well yeah to be honest you can of course buy it or you can take somebody who will take care of your wedding fully. Mm -hmm. However, if you are on a, I wouldn't even say if you're on a budget, but if you are even more creative, you can make everything by yourself and it's all very accepted yeah. uh, in the society. Yeah. I think. And it's really up to you. And uh, some people, they really want to make it super special, very remote memorizable mm -hmm. so they will really put a lot of effort to do them to do all of it by themselves yeah, yeah. next about gifts because of course uh, a couple is expecting you to give them gifts and uh, usually it is i mean mostly i mean 100 percent mostly <laughs> it is money <laughs> and money has to go with some kind of envelope yeah i think it doesn't matter about the color of envelope no. at least it's not like I don't know if that is accepted. It doesn't matter. I think colors is okay. Yeah, mm. like in Taiwan you use red envelope. Yeah, but yeah. in here you can use, you either go with just colors. white or colors. Yeah. Uh, you can put some wishes inside or outside this envelope and you put money inside there. Usually like some few hundreds. Yeah, or mm -hmm. something like that. It depends the same as other countries. Probably it depends on how close you are with this couple. Mm -hmm. and. Also, it is not forbidden that you can, as you say... A few hundreds, I'm also saying about zloty, not dollars. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's not that sorry, crazy. the few hundreds. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. right. And then you can, like, in my case, I like to draw cards. So I mm -hmm. always, we wrote the wishes and I always draw lots of, like, personalized yeah. pictures for the for the couples. Yeah, just to make it more special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then what is more also important is that on the invitation from the couple to you as a guest, Usually they will say what they prefer. Yeah, so most of the cases is wine, mm -hmm. red wine, white wine, and uh, some of them would say um, they would prefer to have I don't know, like a little lottery or books. Yeah, yeah so this is like it's like you even mentioned it on that way because they are giving you the card uh, that says like this is like invitation card for the wedding, mm -hmm. and usually on that card is written like we don't need flowers. Always like that, I don't, I don't know, we don't need flowers. Instead of flowers, you can give us, for example, a bottle of wine, 
Uh, one of our friends wanted books. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other of our friends wanted some lottery was. Yeah, lottery. Yeah, lottery stuff. So all up to them. Yes. So moving on to the wedding day. Okay, first of all, about the shortly about the clothes of the guests. Mm -hmm. So that is something that I observe that is very different uh -huh. comparing Poland and Taiwan, for example. That in Taiwan usually girls are wearing like um, summer dress, I would say. So and heels or not heels doesn't really matter. Yeah, but pretty much like a summer dress you buy in Zara and that will be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then guys usually you wear like bottom shirt like that. Um, maybe a bit more simple color or actually in some case people don't even care some of them just wear t-shirts yeah so that is very casual mm. so when I <laughs> come to Poland and I see that oh my how <laughs> much people dress up for the wedding that actually surprised me okay, okay yeah so firstly for the guys you can say what's the standard I, I would say the standard is a suit yeah however I have to with say with jacket with I mean standard is a suit with jacket would be cool if you have a tie there or some, I don't know, bow tie as well. However, uh, what I've seen recently is like it's getting a better, more, ca casual. <laughs> more casual, let's say. I never actually wear any tie anymore. I still wear full suit, but without tie. Mm -hmm. And I see many guys, they don't wear any tie. Mm -hmm. Some of the guys, they even don't care about the jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even some of the guys, which I see on some weddings, uh, they don't even have a suit. They have some kind of a little bit better looking shirt, mm -hmm. but uh, it's already pretty more casual. However, the standard set for guys is, is a jacket, like a suit. Suit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for girls? Girls it's a bit more, yeah, because um, here usually girls say, especially Polish girls I see, they care a lot about participating in the wedding, so they wear usually like those evening gown, like evening cocktail dress, if that's how you call it. And they even go to you know salon to make those very special hairstyle and like hey, for like for New Year's party. <laughs> yeah, and even like very dedicated makeup uh, just because you're a guest. Yeah, um, for me, I of course I dress up. But um, I'm just dressing up like a bit more than I would in Taiwan, I would say. Our opinion is like, we are not, uh, we, we don't need to shine there. It's not a wedding We for are us. not the star. Yeah, we are not the star in that wedding. So we will dress up in a normal way, yeah? That not way. to offend the person, but also to be more like, at least a little bit more chill. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, we dress up enough to respect the couple, but not like we are the crazy star there and I'm the, the queen and everybody should look at me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the first thing about the guest. But anyways, on the wedding day, starting from the first part, so if you are like the religious couple, so yeah, you if you are religious, so you go to the church. Mm -hmm. mm, so we only attend a church which is like a Catholic. We never really had any other religion church. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's like um, the church uh, will usually will have some kind of a style, uh, like um, some kind of decoration inside already. And there is this music, uh, then the couple is going in there, yeah, then they like uh, sit next to each other, and then the, there is like a mess already, yeah. Mm -hmm. The priest, priest is will. gonna talk about this whole marriage stuff, uh, quote some Bible things, and so on. And then it's gonna be this like, do you, Sansan, uh, love this person? Do you want to stay forever? And so on. And do you, Mateusz, love this person? And then mm -hmm. you put the rings, you kiss. People clap hands, couple goes out. Yeah, so this That's part it. is pretty much like what you would imagine about yeah. a church um, the wedding. Church, yeah. yeah, just lots of standing and sitting, standing, sitting, oh, yeah. squatting because you have to pray with this whole mess. Yeah, so that is around one hour. And then on the other hand, if you don't do the church wedding, you do the civilian wedding. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it is in the, the room in this whole. How do you call this place? Urgent wedding place. Government civilian place. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know, I don't even know how to call it. But anyways, <laughs> we did it in the, the city hall. City hall? City hall, yes, oh. that's the name. <laughs> yeah, we did it in the city hall in Lublin. So it's right 
in the middle of uh, old town. Yeah. So it was quite romantic. Yeah. It's, I would say it was pretty cool. It's not like it's not like that formal. Uh, I mean, of course, if you want to go super formal, you, it, it can just be like only you and like only me, you, and we go there and we sign papers. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. but it was fine because yeah, there is this host, and then um, you also have to basically verbally go through all this yeah. procedure. Do you? It's do you just agree? it's faster than church, mm -hmm. but procedure is it's also pretty romantic, I would say, because you also repeat those lovely words yeah. to each other. And then you also sign this uh, wedding certificate. You exchange the ring, everything as it is, and then they also have the little musician there to dun 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 for you. So everything is there. Yeah, and then after that, usually at this point, the couple will start to collect the gifts. Yes. Yeah? yeah, so either they do it outside the city hall or outside the church, or when you move to your next place, which is the restaurant. So either at the end of the ceremony or at the beginning of the wedding party, they would do this collection and the wishes. Yeah, so when you as the guest give the gifts, you will also say some nice words, uh, wishes and hug the couple. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the that's thank the, them. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the wedding starts. Like usually, it's either uh, some people can uh, organize some bus to take uh, many people to the wedding place or taxis. Or just cars of other people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is also a car for you as a couple. Usually, uh, it's rented or can be your car or somebody's from family. It all up. It's all up to you. Mm -hmm. Usually, this car is also decorated with some little, I don't know, some fake flowers. roses fra or some actual flowers. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it's like newlyweds. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, balloons. So, yeah, and then what is a bit different as well is that here it doesn't have to be expensive fancy car it could be like some of them even are like super retro yeah like, like or... either retro or the car that you love for example or something funny can be like uh, like old uh, like super old funny car we actually took our car yeah. we just decorated our car uh, we polished it nicely <laughs> so it, it would be very shiny and you know in my opinion using your own car is it's pretty cool because it's like a sentimental value for you later on. True. You drive this car and you feel like, yeah, I got married with this car. Yeah, That's not true. with the car. With in I was in the car. This <laughs> yeah. car. Yeah, so yes. it's 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 also pretty nice and it's really up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then starting at the beginning of the wedding, usually the restaurant will prepare like the champagne to give to every single guest. About this entrance, it's also pretty popular that the couple will drink something and throw their glass uh, yeah. behind them, yeah, so it will break and then people are clapping hands. Yeah, because we also did that. We and did that. Also my parents, for example, were welcoming us with bread and salt. This, I think this one is very slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it is a tradition for the couple to shoo, the glass. I remember I was throwing this glass, not on the I was like, not on the car, not on the car, because the car was really close. Yeah, yeah. and then um, usually about the music, uh, couples like to, um, let's say, hire some band. Uh, they are like the wedding bands, mm -hmm. and so they play the music live. Or in the other way, that some DJs they could hire, or you just prepare your own playlist. That's what we did. So like three options usually, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you can take some artists, for example, from Poland, because there are many like actual artists, like actual singers, actual yeah. singers, and they indeed they also do it for you if you pay way more money, of course, <laughs> and check the availability of them. But they are willing to do that. Actually, you can actually yeah. take actual artist but you have to spend mm -hmm. 20,000 what they have probably yeah. <laughs> yeah so usually at that point um, if you have those hosts or the band so they will gather all the guests to this dance floor and as a very traditional wedding usually the couple will do, do the, first dance. the first dance that they usually buy the courses the dancing courses mm -hmm. and then they practice for like a month or even more uh, just for this dance mm -hmm. move and then all the guests will be in a circle, in a circle. and then making those pictures and, and videos, videos and yeah of you dancing um, yeah, especially old people, they love it. Yeah. So, anyways, that's uh, the welcoming. So after your dance, they will also play this "Stola Stola" song, which is like a Polish um, congratulations song. Yeah. And then everybody was singing together. I mean, just to mention for people from abroad, "Stola" is like a May hundred years. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So may they may they live hundred years. Mm-hmm. So you sing you sing Stolat also on the birthday, but the Stolat song on the wedding is a bit variated, so mm-hmm. slightly different. But mm-hmm. yeah, and I almost learned like almost the full song because yeah, of the wedding. <laughs> yeah, but anyhow. Um, usually after this point, you will start the the eating. <laughs> oh, my favorite part. Yeah. Uh, and the food is usually they we start with soup. Mm-hmm. Then it's gonna be some uh, warm dish, either like some meat or some. Uh, and usually and also horse, in usually. advance, some people say who is vegetarian. Just there, and the, and the meat yeah. will be different for those people. The important to highlight about the food is like they not only serve for one round. Yeah, ah, of yes. course in the beginning there will be like the full table of appetizer and appetizer here we are not talking about very neat little things they're like full plate of meat a ham and a chunk of like big things they have salmon and everything so actually you can get full already eating appetizer but yeah. so <clears throat> if it's your first time going to polish wedding just don't eat everything at the beginning because usually the wedding will start around 3 4 p.m but then it will last until 4 or 5 a.m. This is something that uh, many friends from Asia, from, from Taiwan, are surprised and mm-hmm. shocked. Like they're like, wait, what? <laughs> and yeah, yeah, the wedding actually finishes usually like 3 a.m. I would say it's very early already to mm-hmm. finish. Mm-hmm. Usually might be around 5 even. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's why it's important for you to, to keep your stomach just to intake food a little bit, little bit, slowly, slowly, yeah. So, as we say, appetizer, main course, dessert, that's the end of first round. And then, of course, on the table, you are usually, table or the bar, mm-hmm. usually there is um, whiskey, wine, Yeah, um, sometimes vodka. it's like a dedicated bar. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's like a dedicated bar with those like cocktails and so on. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just the drinks on the table. Yeah, mm-hmm. usually it's vodka, or whiskey or wine rarely beer yeah. however we went in one uh, wedding and there was beer and it was amazing <laughs> and uh, yeah but usually it's like stronger alcohol and believe me it's a lot of alcohol so yeah. you know you also if you are from abroad or f- like from especially from abroad which is not like a western culture and your weddings like for example in Taiwan they are rather shorter so, so we have to be prepared there is going to be a lot of alcohol yeah. you have to be careful of yourself because you might really end up end up very badly yeah 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 <laughs> usually it's really like the time people get super wasted yeah. yeah so well it's hard not to since you are drinking for the whole night since afternoon yeah, right yeah, yeah. so so yeah usually every table there will be one i call it vodka man because there's vodka like man, this yes. one guest from this table will volunteer or being assigned to be the person to pure every guest vodka mm-hmm. yeah so he's kind of like the the vodka leader of this table yeah like exactly. oh cheers cheers to the new newly guests yeah this kind of person usually is there yeah and then after this whole main food people will start to move around and music will hit so there will be people who love dancing will be just shoot to the dance floor and polish people like to dance in this very tango or i don't know (laughs) those spinning twisting (laughs) so it's never bored on the dance floor like if you like to dance you definitely have a space but if you don't like to dance you can just always sit on the table or have a walk outside, yeah. So yeah, usually, usually also it is connected with outside parts that you can get out. Some garden. The place, yeah, there is some kind of garden nearby and so on. So to be honest, if people don't really like to dance, for example, me, I <laughs> never dance. Actually, for the whole every wedding, including my own, our own wedding, I didn't dance at all. Mm-hmm. So you know, if if I can manage that, so somebody who don't like dance, <laughs> just feel free. Nobody <clears throat> will really force you. Mm, rather <laughs> so 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 mm-hmm. yeah no problem with that yeah so all the way uh, fast forward to around midnight that's the time that you will pretty much serve the wedding cake now yeah, because you also prepare like a big wedding cake yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's some few traditional style but you can also play with it like our wedding cake was r2d2 from star wars so like we were so childish and very stubborn like we want R2-D2. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember my mom because actually the whole um, style of the of our wedding place was like some kind of like uh, train stations, like this kind of train style, yeah? yeah? 
and then this R2D2 cake it doesn't make any sense. But we were but so. It was like, with firework on his head. Yeah, we, we wanted to have it so much, that's why, yeah, yeah it was there and but it was beautiful. People love it and we, we also love it. it, so it was awesome. Yeah, so usually around midnight you cut the cake and serve the it. The couple usually cuts the cake yeah. and give the pieces to, to the guests. To the guests yes. And then somewhere around there, um, another party, like lots of party time, lots of music and dancing. And then uh, somewhere around this 1 a.m., maybe. They will serve another soup. Yeah, so. It's her favorite moment. Oh, yeah, because usually when you're at that moment, you're full of all kinds of alcohol and like very cold. Yeah. You need that soup. You need that soup. <laughs> yeah, so in one wedding I was in August, I was just like, like drinking so much. I think it was a Jurek. Like, yeah. You were drinking like three or three, <laughs> three cups. Of three cups, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, also around this after midnight, so there are usually like the, there are the wedding games. So which is like which which me <laughs> I already ran away from dancing and this one I disappear it's like you will not find me anywhere <laughs> because yeah. this is like I'm out <laughs> that's the time that they are trying to gather everybody together yeah, yeah. to participate in the game so they usually start with something called pochong like train so it's like in primary school they start to play this uh, there's a dedicated song for, for this that. game yeah so everybody will have to be like you know shoulder like this and then you just shoulder, do this change like, yeah around, like, around around the tables and of course f forcing people to join you yeah so it always ended up like yeah probably if you are still there you will be forced to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so usually they start with that and then later on they start with some games that uh, team bright, team broom yeah. and it's like typical, I don't know, like school activity like okay, so I don't know now you are the you are the orange, you are the banana, yeah. so if you want this. So now orange girl number one has to find a sock or a, a coin of five zloty and you have 30 seconds to do that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, this kind of If game. no, so then you lose or something like that. Yeah, this kind of like, you know, childish yeah. games. Or I don't know, like uh, you have to explode the balloon on the other person's laps, like cheesy games, yeah, yeah. to make people happy. Yeah, usually at that point, uh, we don't really like games <laughs> in public, so we usually <laughs> just... <laughs> Yeah, so usually at that point, um, we are already going out for a walk um, in the outdoor. Then we disappear. Yeah, and drink a lot as well. Yes. Yeah. So, and then around like 3 a.m., um, some of them like to do this, um, how do you say this little firework? Gymne. Gymne, oh yeah, like fire sticks. sticks. Yeah, and then all the, it's like, it's quite popular recent, uh -huh. in recent years, uh, and all the guests would yeah, and then they will make a wedding video of it or a picture of it and at that point usually you're kind of losing all the memories already <laughs> so more dancing more dancing after that and then the party usually ends at 4 or pukes. 5 a.m okay. uh, in, in pukes or you just wake up somewhere in some lake <laughs> yeah but anyhow that is that is the break <laughs> anyhow that's the breakdown of what happened in polish wedding well i would say that it's a lot of tradition, but then you also could have lots of freedom. Yeah, in, I think that I'm no one to say that because I didn't participate those old weddings mm -hmm. with my like my parents' wedding and so on. But I have the feeling that back then they were way more traditional, Probably. and right now it's getting more relaxed. To be I honest, think yeah? so. I think so. Yeah. Oh, and then some of the, um, the wedding they have the second day wedding, yeah. meaning that they're always leftover food from the previous day so they kind of pack it, rewarm it and then guests can eat it on the next day and drink morning. again and drink again, yes, that's like another <laughs> tradition and so many times those uh, newlyweds mm -hmm. especially the husband in the morning are like, and then it's beer like, and they smell already like this hangover oh, yeah. and then because there's a saying you can drink to undrunk yourself don't trust that, okay? By any science point, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I think it's damaging you. Know? But yeah, many people do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say that it kind of helps you to stay more awake, I think. Or or overall not to have such such ridiculous hangover. Anyways, yeah. it pretty much looks like that. Also, just to mention that place that the wedding is... Uh, on they also have uh, some rooms uh, for guests yeah many yeah. guests might be from different cities and so on so um, they pre-organize those rooms for those people mm -hmm. uh, just to sleep over yeah, yeah. There, so they can next day they can um, they can drive uh, back home, yeah yeah exactly 
And then oh, as an ending point, um, usually the couple would count all the money and many of them would save it for, for example, if you're buying an apartment mm -hmm. and house after the wedding, so it would be the base cash for you to do so. Or some couple just spend it on travel or buying new gaming console. <laughs> we, we spend it on the furniture. Yeah, because we we bought the house after the wedding, so it was actually very good money that <laughs> it was, it was a lot. <laughs> Otherwise we, we will not be sitting here now, <laughs> we'll be on the streets. <laughs> no, we would no. be still in this house, but we bought furniture. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we have mentioned, uh, which also uh, happens a lot, is the... Entertainment. Called, uh, very entertainment. I personally like it a lot. It's yeah. called photo bootka in Polish. It's like photo, photo booth. booth. And uh, it's just there at the party and it has those silly costumes, silly things that you can put on yourself and then uh, with, together with other people you can just make pictures yeah. just for fun and, and leave them for the couple and keep them for yourself too. Yeah, like and that. usually they're already, like this photo booth already can have the frame, they preset the frame, mm -hmm. so it will say, I don't know, it's like Anya and Yarek's wedding on this day. And then you will you will remember, ah, this is from this wedding, this is from that wedding. So it's quite nice, it's really fun. Our, our wedding was very uh, budget, so on budget, <laughs> so, so we didn't have this it's photo a booth. small, lovely, small, lovely wedding. wedding. We didn't have this photo booth. However, one place just magically appeared to be the during wedding, the, party. the picture yeah, wall. Just people called. magically just happened to organize themselves there, and then they, we were making many of those silly pictures together, yeah, yeah. and it was very cool. Yeah. yeah, it was more like improvised version, but we had fun, and then we have official pictures with all the guests. So yeah, it yeah, was yeah, really, which is very really, cool, really awesome. Cool. Yeah. So uh, that was it. That was it. So hope you guys enjoy uh, getting some more knowledge about Polish weddings. Hope you guys get fun. We love you. See you. Bye. Bye.